Corka with Tomás McCarthy on WLR. With Hooper Dolan Insurances. For business insurance you can rely on. More info at hooperdolan.ie So only De La Salle can stop Belly Gunner from collecting a six-pack of county titles on Sunday afternoon. Throw-in is at three o'clock in Welsh Park and it will be our George Corbett squad a big match here on WLR. Well, to look forward to the big day, I'm joined by two men who have followed this championship from April to October. That's uh, McDarren McDonagh from the Rungarvan leader and a 1993 a county medalist with Liz Moore, uh, Kieran O'Gorman. And uh, Kieran, does county final day bring back uh, fond memories for yourself? It's so long ago now, unfortunately, tomorrow, so that I can hardly remember. Um, ah, sure. I'd, I'd, before anyone else will say that, it was probably the worst county final played in the last 30 years. Eight points to seven, I think. Um, I was a solo scoring, Kieran. I will say it was the weather conditions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, the weather conditions were off now, but I don't know. Um, it was poor anyway, mm-hmm. but we came out the right side of it for a change. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, so look, everyone at the start of the year aspires to play in the county final. Uh, lucky enough to play in three or four of them. Only we won't manage to win two of them. Probably should have won a few more, but look, that's the way it goes. Uh, can't turn back the clock and only try and look forward for some of the younger fellas at home, maybe to try and get one in a couple of years. Exactly. Uh, McDara, do you think De La Salle could put a, a spanner in the works on Sunday? I, I, I thought at the start of the year that they were the one team that would challenge Bally Gunner, really, looking at it and... I've always thought, and I saw the two semi-finals. Bally Gunner were very, very good against Dungarvan, particularly in the first half. Uh, you have to ask yourself the question: How good were Dungarvan? They were disappointed. Second in a row, they've kind of disappointed in the knockout day. And and you know you you, you can look what Bally Gunner have is they have a system. They have a system. All the teams they have in the club, from under eight to senior, are playing the system. It's a system. They know how to play it. And that's why they bring in players into the system. They just seamlessly fit in because they're playing the same style with the senior team as they would be if they were on the minor team last year or if they were on the under-20 team or, or on the intermediate team. So they know how to play it and they play it very, very well. It's very rarely you'll see a Ballygunner man given a 50-50 pass to another Ballygunner man. It's usually a 70-30 pass. Now, I suppose the question to you ask yourself there is... Is it up to De La Salle to try and put pressure on the giver of the ball so that he's not able to deliver this 37? But that, look, how often have we seen? How often have we seen it? Philip Manny gets the ball, slips it back to Stephen O'Keefe. Stephen O'Keefe out the wing to where Shane O'Sullivan is standing on his own. Shane gets it in the left half back position, sings a diagonal ball into the space. Then it's hit into two where the two wise are Desi and, and Connor, Connor Power. Are, you know. They've been doing it, but they're doing it very, very well. Now, it's up to De Salle to disrupt that. So, De La Salle. A couple of questions for De La Salle. Do they operate a sweeper? Like, do you operate a sweeper against the boys who have perfected the sweeper system? Uh, how, how do you stop this, that space going inside there? Do they put maybe physical pressure? Do they have the physique to put physical pressure on Bellagunner? I've always felt that maybe one way of rattling Bellagunner is to put physical pressure on them, getting the, the, the kind of the body hits, and that's like, not hurry hits. That's, that's giving away a freeze. And giving away a freeze to Parik Mahoney, you might as well hand them the, 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 the cup. So can, can they put that bit of pressure on them? Can they put Bellagunner on the back foot? Yeah, do you think they'll still have the edge in terms of size and strength on Bellagunner, Mac? Mm, possibly. Hard on to call. I, I, possibly. How the how the De La Salle half back line gets on will be very very uh, important here. Shemet noted they've been very consistent all year. Kevin Kevin had a thunder in the last quarter against um, Mount Sign. Quite enough up to that, but he really led from the you know gave the leadership that we've seen so often from him last quarter. Ta- I like Tom Warren. Tom Warren just nice, quiet, just gets the job done. Nothing fancy. Now I I think where they 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 might they might get the upper hand is at midfield. De La Salle might get the upper hand at midfield. And if if they do, like it would change up. Like they have the forwards inside. Like Jack Fagan has been playing very well. I who will Barry Cochran pick up? Will he pick up Jake Dillon or will he pick up uh, uh, um, you know um, Jack Fagan? That'd be an interesting one. Bally Gunner for me are still the favourites, mm. but I wouldn't consider De La Salle no hopers here. Kieran, do you think that De La Salle half back line will be important in terms of disrupting the system that McDara is talking about, and in terms of delivering that quality ball inside to Desi Hutchinson and Peter Hogan as we saw against Dungarvan the last day? Yeah, it's probably their, their, it's, to me, it's the strongest half back line in the county, in, in, in Club Hurling in the county, with uh, the two Morns and Shane McNulty. Like, it's the springboard for their attack, I suppose, it's going back to the day. Like, if your half back line is on top, your team is on top for a lot, a lot of things, you know. And I think that's where they, they, they could go at it. 
But Mac, Mac and, uh, mentioned there like that. The last two county finals, Bally Gunner saw it from the two teams, Passage and De La Salle over the last two years. They had no go off them. They went there with too much respect for my thought. Um, you have to go at them. Like that thing, Mac mentioned there, would they go with a sweeper system? You're playing into Bally Gunner's hands, I think, if you go with a sweeper system, because that leaves Philip O'Man, he's sweeping, and he'll do it better than anyone else around. He's abs- he's brilliant at it, because, he's, because with the last four or five years, teams have been setting up with a sweeper. So, Philip O'Mahony, to me, I don't think, and not, not with Philip O'Mahony, but he's marked no one in club championship for about three years. Hmm. That's from looking at it from the sideline, and he's picking up loose ball, and he can pick his brother Parry, and Parry can put the ball over the bar from 70 yards without a shadow of a doubt. He's, he, he's unerring the majority of the time. Yeah, and what do LSL do with Parry, Kieran, if he drifts out as he's done so often over the past five years in this run? Yeah, I, I think you have to go with him. Like, I have this big thing, and I'll be always saying to lads, you can mark a man, but you can't mark space. Um, they're saying, oh, cut off the pace, cut off the space. But that, there's no space, with, there's no point in cutting off the space to Peter Hogan and Desi Hutchinson inside if Power of Man is putting the ball over the bar from 90 yards out and no one marking him. And, and, and who, who will they put on Power of Man, do you imagine? Um, I don't know, they'll tr- probably try and leave Kevin sitting at centre back. They might put Shane McNulty maybe or Tom Warren. And Tom, Tom Warren is a very good man marker as well. Um, I think Pat, one the, uh, an unsung hero, I think, for Dallas had a very good time from his Conor Giles Dorn. Um, injury has hampered his progress a bit but he's a very good defender I, I think they'd probably leave him in the full back line but he's a very good man mark too very up, very strong and, and well able to hurl um, like the one thing I'd see with Ballygunner and De, De La Salle are, is that De La Salle won't fear Ballygunner that much they'll respect him of course you have to respect him but if you go into, into a game fearing the opposition she may as well not go if you're going to fear him you have to go in believe like and De La Salle will go in and go out in that field believing Sunday that at come five o'clock that they're going to be county champions because if they don't believe it they may as well stay home and but that's one thing that they won't do they'll turn up and I, I just hope that they'll have a, a go off it and we have a right good good rip roaring game yeah McDarrow would you agree with Kieran that Delisle just have to throw the kitchen sink at Belly Gunner in the first ten or fifteen minutes because we've seen so often with Belly Gunner they get a goal or two in the first half and then the game is done at half time yeah and I'm going to throw a line back to him that he gave, he said to me one time going out of some game the water are well beaten underage and he says how can you win the game he says when you go out trying not to lose and there is a difference there is a difference you can go out and try and win a game and I've spoken to one or two people from, from De La Salle not involved with the team now club men and they said yeah we'll have a go because they felt that two years ago they didn't have a go they stood back and it was a very insipid county, for county final it was one of those county finals but I don't know who I was going to win so you'd be hoping that that wouldn't be the case this time now I, it, it comes down to belief yeah De La Salle will believe that they can win it OK, you, you go back to the semi-finals and the quarter-finals. De La Salle edged past Ron Moore, edged past uh, Mount Sion. Uh, Ballygunner walked through passage and more or less walked through Dungarvan as well. So uh, they haven't been tested. But then, we've said that before, <laughs> Ballygunner, they haven't been tested and they still continue to win it. Like So it, it, it's, it's it, for De La Salle to win it, all the, you know, to win any county final, you need 12, 13 of your players playing at optimum form. You know, you'll get away with two or three, and you'd be hoping then that the opposition might might only get up to maybe ten players on top top of the farm. It can happen. It can happen. Finals, but you see, when when you're talking about consistency, you, you have to admire. You have to admire Bally Gunner. Like I mean, they're they're so they're so consistent. They've like they've, they've they're going for their sixth, and then they, they were beaten. Caught at the last second by passage in 2013. Yeah, the, probably the last really good county final that we've had, Mac, that, that, that 13 final. Yeah, it was. And that was still the story was out about the passage fillers that were gone home before they got the two late goals. But, you know, uh, it, it's. it's and every, anytime Ballygon have met them since, they've hammered them. So, you know, there might be Kilkenny, you beat Kilkenny once, they'll come back to, as Eamon Craig has wanted, they'll go back to haunt you for the rest of your life. And, and uh, Ballygon are just, they're, they're ruthless, they'll do the job. You know, even more of it. Uh, Fergal Hartley goes. Dara Sullivan comes in. Nothing changes really. It's this is what I'm talking about. It's, it's just a consistency right through, and and yet you have to admire them for it. Yeah, certainly. What it sounds like McDarrah's siding with a belly gunner, a Kieran. Who do you think will be taking home the the brand new News and Star Trophy come half four? Um, I suppose you have to you have to give the vote to belly gunner. They're they're going for six in a row. Um, you think that they might be weak and with Brian O'Sullivan gone the next thing Desi Hutchins comes back playing I, I, it's just un, it's just unbelievable like 
that they have their, their depth and strength or strength and depth and they're picking up talent ever. and like their intermediate team are in a county final as well like they're going to be on the road for a long long time um, I agree with Mac at start you are probably De La Salle were the one team that you say would put it up to him um, if they give it a right go if they, and as Mac said like if everyone plays up to their capabilities and you hope that maybe one or two Valley Bonne fellas might have an off day you'd give De La Salle a chance um, like the likes of Adam Farrell there in the middle of the field can get through a Trojan amount of work Jack Fagan is playing very well all the year like he's going to be a handful I could probably see Barry Coughlin maybe picking him up for the physical strength of it al- mm. alone Could Thomas Douglas be potentially a joker in the pack for him uh, Kieran? He's a joker anyway that's what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but if a damn good hurler he's, he's a brilliant semi-final against Mount Sion. Um yeah Tonto can turn it on he's very good like uh, Jake Dillon back playing very well as well uh, and as I mentioned our half back playing earlier um, I'd give him a, I'd give him a chance I, they've no four long it's not a, a foregone conclusion that Bally Gunner will win it but I, if I was putting hard air on cash down I'd have to be putting it on Bally Gunner I'm afraid and final question for you Kieran. who would be your player of the championship heading into Sunday's final the player of the championship I stand out player of the championship to me has been Paddy Manny he's just He's everything that Bally going around. Like everything goes through him. He's the he's the linchpin between defence and attack. Like in, in I don't think he ever gives away Mac mentioned it there, I know it before we're on air, that you never see him giving a ball fifty fifty to someone. It's always seventy thirty in the Bally Gun and that's ever. And to me Park has been the player of the championship. Right there, I'm gonna throw in Dizzy Hutchinson just ahead of Shane McNulty in terms of the player of the championship. Who would get get your vote? Uh, you, you just you look at you, you probably look at the semi finalist. Uh, look at Mount Sion. Iggy Iggy was tremendous this year. Say, say, make, he made two saves against um, De La Salle who were top drawer. Uh, Evan McGrath was good for for uh, Mount Sion as well. If you look, look at John Garner, I suppose Kieran Power solid enough, but uh, Gavin Crotty played well in the forwards. I suppose you have to generally teams that are in the finals for, from De La Salle's point of view. Jack Fagan has been good, Shane McNulty has been very good. Desi, Parry, you see, I suppose, is sometimes he's a bit like Stephen Cluxton. Cluxton. Clunk. Cluxton. He's a victim of his own consistency. You expect Parry to get 12 or 13 points. You know, you're, you only rap Parry if he gets 15 or if he misses two frees. Then people say, Jesus, what's gone wrong here? It's not the same thing. So uh, I, I would probably go for, for, maybe because he's different, because he's new this year, uh, Desi Hutchinson. Very much. Well, lads, thanks very much for your time today and enjoy the big match on Sunday in Welsh Park.